The city has approximately 200 pieces of public art in its inventory, including Henry Moore's Archer standing here right in front of City Hall. But the question we want to know is, is art good or bad that's in the public realm? That's, that's always subject to interpretation. It's always subjective. You know, what's, good, one, what's a good art piece for one person, it's a bad art piece for another. And that's, when it comes to art, it's completely essential. Everybody should express their opinion. The fact that people want to express their opinion is a step in the right direction. At Shepard and Leslie, an art installation of a rusting sheet of metal cost taxpayers $380,000. Another art installation called Dawes Crossing at Victoria Park Avenue and Dawes Road is costing taxpayers $400,000. The city contributes almost nothing to public art. Most of the public art, I would say 98% of it, comes from private money and from the 1% program. I would like to see the city contribute more. Garnet's own art, a metal clock, is permanently fused in the Queen and Broadview Bridge, as well as a monument near the Rogers Centre about the Chinese railroad workers. Toronto's public art, in his opinion, is on par with other cities in terms of quality, though not necessarily quantity. And I think taxpayer dollars, absolutely. I think most people would be very happy to say, OK, yeah, I'd love to have a Henry Moore sculpture at the corner of the AGO. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation, however, calls it profoundly offensive the public has to pay for what only a small population would consider art. The money would be better used on other things, such as lowering the city's debt. For the Sun News Network, I'm Jenny Ewan.